of the International Secret Police. While Barney Dunlap is some 200 miles up the Siong River endeavoring to locate Marsha Winfield with the aid of Bob Gilmore, Speed and Clint and the Hong Kong police enter the Siong Tunnel determined to open the secret rock door that leads to the octopus headquarters. Meanwhile, that master criminal has arranged so that if the rock door is moved even slightly, a blast of dynamite will completely wreck the Siong Tunnel and everyone in it. The octopus is watching the movements of Speed and Clint by means of his telescopic mirrors and is delighted as Speed discovers that the door is open a few inches. The boy is about to try and force it all the way when Clint calls to him to stop. Don't touch it, I say, Speed. Don't even lay a finger on that rock. Come back here. Clint, what's wrong all of a sudden? Did you see something? Yes, Clint. What is wrong? I haven't seen anything, boys, but I've just realized something. No wonder I had a hunch that something was wrong. But I do not understand, Clint. Now, listen, Ying. We've got to get out of this tunnel as quick as we can. What? But we've only just come in. Don't waste time talking. Quick, one of you men, give me a pickaxe. Here you are, sir. Oh, good. Now, uh, that heavy rope there. Oh, just one end of it. Here it is, sir. But what's all that for? Well, first, I insert the pickaxe in the rock door. Like this. I'm bracing it so that a sustained pull will force this door open. Yeah? Then I knot this rope around the handle and the blade so that it can't slip. So. Seems like a lot of trouble over nothing. You will understand in a minute, Speed. Now follow me on the double quick. And don't step on this rope. I'm going to let it out as we go. On the double quick. Very well. Hurry, man. We can. Save your breath, Speed. And don't get too close to your uncle, Speed. You may get tangled in the rope. But I don't see. Orders are orders, Speed. Yes, sir. Look, there's a tunnel entrance ahead. Thank heavens it doesn't take long to get back there. Once you know the ground... Is the rope going to last out, thing? Yes, I still have a heavy loop in my hands. Yeah, we'll have plenty and some to spare. Yeah. Uh, well, here we are. Now what? Uh, all of you men, get well outside the tunnel entrance. Along that runway, over there. Even as far as the float, if necessary. Uh, Ying, you're sure that no one is allowed on the Siang Dock or in the neighborhood of it? Oh, yes, Clint. Our men and the Hong Kong police are keeping everyone away from the section of the waterfront. Good. Then as many of you as can, grab hold of this rope, and when I give the word go, give a good tug. Me too, Clint? Yes, you can take part in this speed now that we're out of the tunnel. I think we are already, Clint. All right. Is everyone set? All right, then. Ready? Set? Go! <laughs> What was that? Dynamite. Yes, Ying. Dynamite. And if Speed had tried to push that rock door open, we would have been caught by the blast. Gee, how did you suspect that, Clint? Wait a minute, men. Men, wait just a minute. Now, my hunch warned me of danger. And then it suddenly struck me strange that the rock door should be left slightly open so that we could not help but see the opening and force it the rest of the way. The octopus had it all planned that we should never leave the Siang Tunnel alive. Uh, you mind if I sit down a minute? My knees are kind of shaky. Uh, mine are too speed. Uh, that is one of the closest calls I have ever had. And believe me, I have had plenty. Well, it was a clumsy job, though. Huh? And as a rule, the octopus is more subtle in his methods than that, Speed. We must be very close to him, otherwise he would take more precautions. With the Siong Tunnel in ruins, how are we going to get to him now? I don't know, but we'll find another way. So long as the octopus has ways out of his den, the secret police will find ways in. It seems, Master, your plan to trap Speed Gibson and Clint Barlow in the secret rock passage has failed. Yes, I should have known better than to think that Barlow would be fooled so easily. And since the explosion, we can no longer hear nor see the secret police. That does not worry me. My spies have eyes and ears. 
I shall be aware of their activities. And the main passage to my headquarters has been blocked forever by that dynamite blast. There is no danger of the police tracing me by means of this young and dark passage now. Neither can we escape by means of that passage should the need arise. It shall not arise. There are many other secret ways in and out of my headquarters. Most important, the underground hangar. Should the secret police come too close, we can take to the air and follow splinters into Tibet. I hope that necessity will not arise. I have no liking for Tibet. It is wild and little known territory. To you, possibly, even to most people. But I know Tibet well, Kwan Wu. I have not had surveyors working there for nothing. It is safe to say that I know the geography of Tibet better than any other living man. And I intend to make use of that knowledge someday. But will not the secret police follow you into Tibet? They will not be able to follow me anywhere, Kwan Wu. I will not leave Hong Kong until I am sure of that. Call a meeting of the band as soon as it is possible for them all to be here. I would speak to them. Very well, Master. You have uh, not visited Dr. Kingsley as yet, have you? No, I was unable to make an appointment, and then my time has been greatly occupied by our business. Yes, we have accomplished much. We destroyed the headquarters of the Hong Kong operator of the secret police, Li Ying, even though we failed to trap him. We removed Marshal Winfield from the possibility of being found by Dunlap and Gilmore. Hmm. What is it, Master? There is still the matter of Barney Dunlap. We heard his last shortwave conversation with Dr. Kingsley. Yes, Master. Stating that he failed to find the Winfield girl and that he was going to fly back here to Hong Kong, bringing Bob Gilmore with him. Yes, yes. Uh, They will probably go directly to Dr. Kingsley's home. Yes. It might be well for you to drop in for a friendly chat. Barlow and Gibson will be there, too. With Li Ying shortwave set out of commission, because of the fire, the doctor set will probably be their only means of communication with Dunlap's plane. They will go there for messages and await his coming. Shall I call the meeting of the band before I go to the doctor's, master? If possible, yes. I should like to lay our plans. Then, with all our enemies in the doctor's home, strike. And this time... I shall not fail. Doc, gone. I'm sure sorry we're not flying Marsha back to Hong Kong with us. Do you think there's any hope of finding her now, Barney? Sure. But it riles me to think of her being a prisoner of that octopus guy any longer than necessary. Here we was, just a few minutes flying time from her, and still missed her. Yeah, thanks to splinters. Yeah. But you know, Bob, if we can ever get our hands on that flying fool again, I think he might help us. What do you mean? When Clint and Speed were questioning him on Wake Island, after he tried to kidnap Speed in this very plane you're flying in now, the guy almost broke down and told everything he knew about the octopus. Seems he was once in the United States Navy, splinters, I mean, and deserted. Then the octopus got his hooks on him, and he's been flying for him ever since. How can a man with a record like that help us? Because somewhere, tucked away under that mixed-up brain of his, I think splinters has a grain of loyalty for law. He must have, or he never would have flown for the United States Navy. But he's one of those weak guys. Maybe got in a jam while he was still in the Navy and fell under the octopus's power then. Maybe the octopus made him desert. Yeah, maybe, but I wouldn't trust Splinters. Oh, we won't trust him. But maybe we can use him to lead us to the octopus. That is, if we ever catch up with him again. Yeah, that's right. If we ever catch up with him again. Uh, Well, there's Hong Kong Harbor below us. Where do you land, Barney? Right near the Siang Dock, Bob. I'll have to circle so her nose will be in the wind. The waterfront sure looks good to me, even from the air. I was getting sort of lonesome up the Siang. I should think so. You'll be a lot safer in Hong Kong, too, Bob, now that the octopus knows for sure you're in with us. If he tries anything funny here, he's fooling not only with the secret police, but with British authority, too. While up the Siang in Chinese territory, most anything could happen. Well, seems to me plenty of things have been happening in Hong Kong. Yeah. Wonder how Clinton Speed came out with a tunnel ray. Hey, what? hey, what's happened to the Siang Dock? Look, there's a lot of excitement down there. And look, part of it has been blown away. Blown? Dynamite, I betcha. If the octopus dynamited that tunnel while Clinton Speed was in it, they never had a chance. Oh. 
I'm going to see if I can raise Lee Ying on the radio telephone. They weren't going down the tunnel alone, were they? No, they had plenty of police with them. But that wouldn't help in a dynamite job. The tunnel's kind of narrow. Clinton's feet probably went in first, and that's just what that devil fish wanted. Hello. Hello. Flight station OC-34 calling IS-56. OC-34 calling IS-56. Emergency. Come in, please. Want me to send out the calls while you land, Barney? No, thanks. I can handle both, Bob. If they'll only answer. OC-34 calling IS-56. Dunlap at OC-34 calling IS-56. Come in, Lee Ying. He doesn't answer. But didn't he go to the tunnel with Clinton Speed? Yeah, but he'd leave a man stationed by that short wave set for possible messages from this plane, if nothing else. OC-34 calling IS-56. OC-34 calling IS-56. You've lost a lot of altitude, Barney. Yeah. I'll set her down right now. Hold on, fella. Okay. I'm going to taxi right up to that float so as we won't have to wait to be rowed ashore. I want to see what's happened. Listen. The octopus. Yes, Barney Dunlap, the octopus. I welcome you back to Hong Kong and uh, also Bob Gill. Never mind the baloney. In fact, get off the air, octopus. We're bailing out of this crate right now and going to see what's happened at the Siang Seawall. I can save you trouble. What do you mean? You will not find your friends at Siang Seawall. Listen, you eight-faced piece of static. If you've done anything to speed or Clint while I was gone, I'll... I'll tell you apart, do you hear? <laughs> I hear. But you would first have to fight me before you could carry out your threat, Barney. Don't let him get your goat, Barney. Get it. He's got it. But I'll get his someday, and then I'll sure take that goat out of his hide. Meanwhile, if you are interested in the whereabouts of Clinton Speed, Barney, I suggest that you seek word of them at Dr. Kingsman. The docs? Yes. <laughs> Barney, what do you think's happened? I don't know, Bob, but come on. We're sure going to find out. <laughs> 